this is the desktop clock project and a 3D enclosure. It's in, in two pieces. The top cover has the holes for all the different sensors. The display on the side has a hole for the USB-C connector on the back. There are two push buttons. I don't have these push buttons doing anything yet, but they could be used for uh, moving the hours forward or back for daylight savings time. When I plug it in, will beep because there is a tiny little speaker on the board. It could be used for an alarm clock, possibly. So it will connect to Wi-Fi. It will grab the time from an NTP server and display it very, very dimly using the uh, PWM on the backlight. This is a bedside clock, so I don't want it very, very bright. And I have the color set to orange. So it displays the time, displays the onboard temperature, humidity, and it has an air quality sensor. So it measures CO2 and um, a TVOC, which is a, I believe, toxic compound sensor. Um, if I take a look on the inside of it, The display is a uh, 135 by 200. Um, let me zoom in here. This is the uh, temperature humidity sensor, and this is a time of flight sensor, the uh, CO2, TVOC. Oh, it also has an ambient light sensor, which I'm not using at the moment, but that could adjust the uh, brightness depending on the amount of light in the room. On the back side, it has a low profile speaker, uh, the two push buttons. This is a 1.8 volt LDO for the uh, air quality sensor. It has a NeoPixel on the top center, USB interface chip, ESP32 Pico D4, the antenna. It has a quick connector, which has a power ground and I squared C. So you can um, connect other things to it if you want. And a micro or a USB-C connector. Oh, and this is the 3.3 uh, volt one amp LDO. Just gonna power it up again. The screen refresh for the sensors is uh, impressively fast. So it takes a few seconds for, uh, it has a, a little plate heater that has to warm up first before it will display um, the air quality readings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow on it and you can see the um, CO2 level I have set to the uh, NeoPixel color. So I'm going to blow on it and you will see as this rises doing now there it starts to fall should turn green I'm gonna blow on it now and you'll see you'll see the uh, color change see how it turned red It also goes crazy when you uh, put uh, this is isopropyl alcohol. Right in here. Put a little bit in here. It 
just goes nuts when I put that near it. Anyway, the um, when I wave my, put my hand in front of the clock, it will, uh, the backlight will fade out and it will display the uh, local weather from openweather.com and display it for a few seconds and then fade away and then go back to the clock. If I were to change a few things on the board, one of them would be um, to get rid of the right angle USB-C connector and possibly use one of these uh, vertical type. So what I could do is I could, instead of having USB there, I could have it maybe in the center. So the connector would Instead of plugging it on the side, we'll plug this way. And the other thing I will probably do would be get rid of this temperature humidity sensor. Because uh, if you notice, I have the 3.3 uh, volt LDO right on the opposite side of the sensor. So that's why it is so high. Possibly move a temperature sensor off the board, maybe tether it to a cable to uh, the top or the side or the bottom of the uh, enclosure. All of the um, code and hardware files are open source. I'll provide a link on the um, where you can grab all that information and I'll hopefully upload the uh, enclosure um, files today as well. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.